guys and welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna start things off by priming my lids for today's look I wanted to do a classic glam tutorial which included like this lovely red lip so when I dye my hair dark I love red lips and it just makes me feel like snow white so I have like snow white vibes going on anyways snow white is like one of my favorites btw but I'm gonna start using the Huda Beauty rose gold palette to build up my eyes today I picked up the shade sandalwood and just using this as a transition color all over my lids have you guys seen the new desert dust palette that she's gonna bring out like I needs that in my life I really have enjoyed this palette it is awesome and I really like like my favorite black is in this palette the black truffle it is so deep and so rich that I love it so I'm gonna also take the shade Coco and further build that up when I do this kind of ended up being like a smoky eye so when I do a smoky eye I like to mix blacks and browns just to give it a little bit more of like a different vibe I guess and that totally did not mean to sound like total valley girl but it comes out once in a while so as you see I'm focusing the focusing I'm focusing this on the outside of my eye I didn't really want to bring it forward because I wanted to keep it nice and light up there but it ended up being a little bit more difficult than I thought so I'm just kind of making sure that everything is even as I can keep it and just gonna blend that out All right, so I'm gonna pick up the shade Black Truffle and kind of build this up where that brown cocoa shade was at right now and just pack the color on the outer corner of my eye. And when I bring out my blending brush, I will bring all that color forward. That way when we kind of add the lighter shade, it doesn't look like, do you see how right now it's just like outside color? So when we blend it together, it will look like it's just like a seamless transition. So that's the vibe I was going for. Obviously, you want your looks to be very seamless and transitioned. Um, I tried my hardest and my hand hurt towards the end of this because I was like, this blending has got to look on point. So I think I did an okay job. So I'm going to take the concealer right now and clean up the inner corner of my eye and just kind of build where I want that lighter shade to be right now. So I'm just going to pick it up on like a flat concealer brush and pack it on I don't want to go past the black part of my eye right there so I'm just gonna crisp up that line just because I wanted everything to look nice and clean so this is the second time I'm trying to film this look the first time I didn't feel like my blending skills were up to par so I didn't want to put something out there that I wasn't a fan of and that's why I haven't really uploaded in a while also we started work again and I have been so tired when I get home like I need to fight naps so hard but my naps aren't really naps they're like two hour long naps or longer so it's like sleep so I try my hardest not to nap but it gets the best of me so I haven't really been um, able to film it and I just haven't had the energy to do so so yeah that's why I haven't seen a video in a while and BTW we are really close to 200 I know I said this a while ago but once I said like I'm close to 200 I lost like subscribers which is like okay that's weird but we're really close to 200 subscribers and it would be awesome if you would join my little family here and be part of this little journey that is slowly building and growing so just kind of help a sister out so I'm gonna pick up the Morphe 25B palette and pick up the lighter shade on the top corner left corner and I thought this was a little bit lighter or whiter than the beige shade that's in the Huda Beauty palette but it ended up being the same color so I could have picked up bay and it would have been fine like 
could have picked up bay that sounded funny so i'm just packing this in and working it in that area that we cleaned <laughs> and when you get like lint in your eye you gotta like clean it out so I am kind of trying to marry the two shades together and I will go in and blend it so let me stop rambling and let you watch what I'm doing So this look is a lot of back and forth. So I added color to go, like blended it out, added some more color, and it is just very tedious work, but it was worth it in the end because I really enjoy the way this came out. It was a challenge for me, but I was up for the challenge. So just for the sake of saving time on the video, I'm going to pop off camera and do my foundation, my contour, and my brows. For my foundation, I'm trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Shell Ivory. This is like their pale shade. Um, I like it. It's been interesting. Some days it looks really good and other days it's not. Um, maybe it's just like the way my skin woke up that day. I don't know. But as you can tell here in this video, I have packed my bags because I am exhausted. Look how tired I look. I had drinking an energy drink. I drank an energy drink to film this video because I was like, I am not falling asleep after work. I need to film. So this is all for you guys. I risked a nap to film this video. <laughs> just kidding I really enjoyed filming I love filming it's like it relaxes me and it makes me so incredibly happy so that's why I do it so as you see I'm doing my typical wing liner using the tardiest lash paint no that's the mascara the the double ended the one with the liner on the bottom and the gel liner on the other side so then I'm just gonna prep my lashes for some falsies for today we're sticking with the Huda Beauty theme is it annoying when I say Huda Beauty because it, it kind of annoys me sometimes so I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm sticking with the theme and using the shade the shade the style Samantha number seven these are very like wispy and pretty so then I'm gonna take uh, mascara on my lower lash line and we are going to put on some blush this is a morphe 9n blush palette and then after that we are going to highlight and i'm using the anastasia beverly hills nicole glow highlighter in kitty cat i believe using this to highlight my cheekbones my bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow So I'm going to be lining my lips with Rimmel London Red Dynamite 021 Lip Liner. And then for this gorgeous red lipstick we're going to be applying in a bit. This is my hands down holy grail red lipstick. It is by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade American Doll and Girlfriend. This is so red and so pretty. Like 
I love it and I think like the contrast with like my black hair and everything works so well so with that finish touch right there those finishing touches right there this look is complete I really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe it makes me so incredibly happy when you do hit that thumbs up button it helps my channel so much when you do as well and I will see you guys for another video thanks for watching I love you and bye